Hey guys, Captain JJB84. Uh, I'm sorry, it's late. I'm gonna make this as quick and painless on me as possible. Um, cars too. I, I'm gonna be brief. I, I don't want to say hate. I really didn't like this movie at all. I mean. This is Pixar we're talking about. Um, first, you probably don't want to hear my thoughts on the first Cars. The first Cars, I saw it when I was 11, and I liked it. I mean, it was... It, <laughs> when it came out, no one knew what to think of it. Um, it was, it was bizarre, it was weird, but it kind of used that to its advantage. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out the science behind it, but I think in the first one where it works, it works. This one fails on all cylinders. And the, the, the worst part is that it came from Pixar. That's the worst part, that's the worst part about it. Um, I, I just don't know what to say, I, I don't know. Like, why the hell did they decide to make a sequel to this one? I mean, uh, this, their next movie's coming out is Brave. Uh, not till 2012, let's hope they can do better. I mean, I have a lot of respect for John Lasseter. He's done just so much fucking fantastic work in the past 30 years, mind my language for animation, just Disney and all, but to be fair, I don't know what he was thinking. He, while promoting the first Cars movie, he got the idea of thinking, what would Mater do in this case? Yeah, well, this movie, um, pretty much uh, Lightning, there's this guy who runs this car, I'll just refer to him as guys or girls, who has this big oil, this big uh, alternative oil, alternative fuel source, and he's pretty much celebrating that by having a World Grand Prix. Lightning McQueen gets in that, and he's got a grudge against a uh, car named Francesco, voiced by John Tutora. Lightning McQueen's voiced by uh, Owen Wilson. I like Owen Wilson. And uh, made his voice by Larry the Cable Guy. Um. I will admit though, it is not that bad. Um, there are bits I was laughing at. I mean, there are bits I was having fun with, but this honestly feels like a really bad DreamWorks film. And DreamWorks in recent years, they began pretty damn good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I knew Kung Fu Panda 2 was going to be better than this, but I thought at least. I don't know what I was supposed to think. I, no, my expectations, the first Cars, I think is like a 7 to me. This, I don't know. I thought, you know, Pixar said they don't make a sequel unless they have a good story, but this sequel is so forced. Like, um, it's so, it's so forced with itself. It tries to be funny when it knows it isn't. It sits there acting like a fucking Austin Powers movie half the time. I mean, yeah, Michael Caine voices a car named Flynn McMissile, who, get this, he's an Aston Martin, the James Bond mobile. I would like to see Michael Caine as a James Bond, though. That, that would interesting. Coincidentally, he's actually good friends with Roger Moore. Um, so yeah, and uh, pretty much um, these villains pretty much are sitting on one of the largest newly discovered fuel sites in the world and Flynn's trying to figure out what they're trying to do. Spoilers, the guy who is running the fuel, of the uh, alternative energy source is actually the villain. And it's interesting. I mean, the, like, you know, Pixar movies, they are kids movies, but to be fair, you can enjoy them being like 40 years old at the same time. I mean, I enjoy every one of them. My father enjoys them. He's well in his 50s, but my grandma even enjoys them. I mean, but this this is just pushing it. I mean, 
There were two bits I really liked. Um, one was when they were in England. Uh, that that uh, that just seemed really interesting to me. Um, <laughs> uh, the Queen, the other yeah, the Queen in there. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and the other was uh, when um, uh, when was it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just when they were in England. That, that was funny. Um, and, yeah, I, Michael Caine's character, he's interesting, but not really at the same time. And they killed off Paul Newman's character. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, that's the thing I liked about the first one, was Paul Newman's character. Um... He he added a lot. He added a lot to the movie, the movie, which I think actually saved it. Um, you know, Paul Newman sadly is dead about a few years ago. Um, they killed off his character in the movie. They, they don't show. He's like you know, it's the impression you know he died between movies. Um, and Lightning McQueen, he's won four Piston Cups. Now they're renamed after um, uh, the Hudson Hornet, Paul Newman's character. Um, they have a lot of the other characters, but they just sort of sit, they show up every half an hour. The movie is long. It's an hour and 55 minutes, when it doesn't need to be that long. Um, but to be fair, it's just, it's so far from what Pixar is good at, and I don't know, nothing about, nothing saved this. I mean, oh, the friendship, the friendship between me and McQueen. I'm like... Okay, fine, you had that in the last movie. I, I'm... I don't know if I'm disappointed or not, I'm just... Th th I will say this, it didn't so much as piss me off, well... The idea that they made, you know, the fact that they made it pissed me off, but there wasn't stuff in the movie that pissed me off, I mean... Okay, yeah, fine, there were. Every chance they get to make a car pun, they do it. Tokyo. Uh, this is how it's spelled. T O W Y. Uh. Uh. <laughs> damn, I can't speak. T O W K Y O. Get it? And John Last Tire. Get it? Yeah. Um. When did this become a fucking DreamWorks film? Oh, God. But. Th this is. I mean. This is like Shark Tale, the DreamWorks film, Shark Tale. I mean, it was honestly that painful to sit through. It was that bad, but best part, I didn't have to pay for my ticket. <laughs> my friend, he is at, um, he's got discounts to movies because you know, he works at the movie theater and it was a day off, so. But, yeah, this, movie, this review's a lot longer. If you have, like, a eight-year-old son or ten-year-old ten-year-old son ten-year-old daughter take them they'll enjoy it and I mean you know um, people I saw it with were uh, four friends of mine we're all 15 16 and a bunch of kids in the theater and you know um, I heard the kids you know screaming yelling laughing I figure it's a kids movie they, they can have their time it was a movie say like like Rango more mature or then I'll be like, nah, that kid's gotta be quiet. I, I won't get up and say it, I'll just move or something. But, I'm just very disappointed in Pixar. John Lasseter, if you're watching this, which I hope you, which you're probably not, rethink the next time you make a sequel. Alright, that's the review. 4 out of 10. My lowest review yet. I hate this more than, I hate this movie more than Sanctum. At least with Sanctum, there was certain elements that were good, but this movie, I mean, that's it. Four out of ten. I'm sorry, but I was going to give it more, then I realized, no, this movie pissed me off. It's way too long. And, oh yeah, bad marketing, by the way. Poster shows Lightning McQueen right the front and Mater in the background. Yeah, Mater's the main character. And Michael Caine and the other British chick. And... What's a Pixar movie without John Ratzensberger? He has two lines in the movie. He plays Mac the truck. Two lines right at the end. 
Well, I guess that's all I can say. Four to ten. Don't see this. I, I, I don't care what I said earlier. Don't see this. Go see Kung Fu Panda 2. Have fun with it. Alright. See you later.